Okay, so at the beginning of each season, you really want to go around and give all your bulbs a wiggle. If they feel loose in the pot, you know that they've lost their roots for some reason. Could be bugs, insects, fungus gnat, fungus gnat larvae, whole heap of reasons. So you really want to pull your bulb out of the pot. As you can see, this one's loose. No roots, huge basil plate. Shouldn't be like that. Pups in the pot as well. You want to take that out, check that. You want to dump your soil. You then need to work out what is wrong, the damage to your bowl, and what you need to do. So here you can actually see that there is rot. Rot has a very distinctive smell. It's a pungent smell. It's not overpowering, but it's a very sickening, sweet, fermenting smell. It's disgusting. And this is what you can see here. So you need to remove all of this. Really should have brought my knife with me to do this, but I haven't. So you want to remove all of this stuff. As you can see, I have also changed gloves. We start with this area, clean it up, and you see that there's some rot up here. You can smell it. The more you break into it, the more you can smell. If you can smell it, then you know it's rotten. If you can't smell it, it's not rot. It's the simplest way to explain it. So you're going to want to get all of this off. You're going to want to check really close around the base of the bulb as you can see there's rot that goes way in here the basal plate is squishy we have one good section that we know because there's a root but you're going to want to get rid of all of this See if we can see anything. There are no bulb mites. There are no gnat larvae. Gnat larvae look like transparent worms. So this one's obviously just rotted because of moisture, or in my case, it could be because it was. It's not liking the frost that we've been having. So you can see this one here is very bad. I'm going to stop the video here and find my knife. I will make another video to go with this one and I'll be back. 